morning guys. Today I'm going to be doing a what I eat in a day video and show you everything I eat in a day um, because that's the most requested video I got. And it's going to be a what I eat in a day, no cook, lazy vegan meals edition because I want to share with you what I actually eat a lot of the time when I'm too lazy to cook or too busy to cook. I'm just starting my morning with some green tea. I like to start my morning with a little boost. And before that, I did a really quick meditation session. Um, and I also wrote in my journal for like five or 10 minutes. And I love to start my morning with those activities because I find I'm so much calmer and less anxious and stressed than if I start my morning by looking at my phone and checking email and social media and reading the news. I really recommend you don't read the news when you first wake up. It's very depressing. Anyways, I'm gonna finish my tea and then head out for a short workout. And I'm keeping it short because I'm coming off a very long hiatus from exercising, like months long. Um, so I don't wanna injure myself. And after my short workout, I will see you back here. All right, so I just got back from my morning workout and I am ready for a hearty and nourishing breakfast. So this is an instant superfood muesli and I like to make it because you can have muesli in just a few minutes. You don't have to wait for it to soak and it's easy, it's healthy, and it's packed with superfoods. So we're gonna start with about a half cup of oats. These are rolled oats. And then we're gonna add this plate of superfoods. We've got about three to four tablespoons of unsweetened coconut flakes, two tablespoons of walnuts, two tablespoons of raw buckwheat groats, a tablespoon of chia seeds, and about two to three tablespoons of raisins. To soften the muesli, instead of waiting for it to soak in the fridge, we're going to add the flesh of one mashed ripe banana. Once it's all nice and mashed, we're gonna add it to the oats mixture. Just get that in there, real sticky and gooey. So we mixed the banana with the oats and everything else until it got a nice little texture. And then we're gonna serve it on the side of some coconut yogurt. You can also serve it on the side of plant-based milk. Then we'll add even more superfoods. This is a tablespoon each of flaxseed meal, pumpkin seeds, cacao nibs, and one more thing, hemp seeds. All right, I'm back home and in the kitchen. After breakfast, I ran a bunch of errands and I met a friend for coffee and then I walked home for a couple miles. So I worked up an appetite and we're gonna make a huge hearty salad. And if you think salads can't be filling, I think you should try this one out. For lunch, we're gonna have a huge salad. It's basically a everything but the kitchen sink salad. I'm gonna use all kinds of ingredients that I have in my pantry and my fridge. We're gonna start with about two to three cups of a coleslaw mix. This is just shredded broccoli and carrots. It's from a bag, it saves a lot of time. You can use any kind of bag salad you like. And then I'm gonna add some canned chickpeas, um, about a half cup to a cup. Um, just wanna make sure I get enough protein um, since I've been active today. And then we're gonna add some nuts and seeds and raisins. This is about two to three tablespoons each of cashews, sunflower seeds, and raisins. And the nuts and seeds are raw. So just toss all of that in there. And then we're gonna add some creamy avocado. This is half of a avocado and it's ripe, so it's gonna be delicious. For our salad dressing, we're gonna be doing a tahini maple dressing, which is one of my favorite dressings and it's super simple. We're gonna start with uh, two tablespoons of tahini. Tahini is just ground sesame seeds into a paste or liquid form. And we're gonna add about a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. And that will be the acid in our salad dressing. I'm gonna add a few pinches of garlic powder, a generous sprinkling of black pepper, 
them pink Himalayan sea salt. When you're making your own salad dressing at home, it's really important to season it properly so that every morsel has a little bit of flavor. Then we're gonna add about a half tablespoon of maple syrup. Uh, that sweetness really balances out the acidity from the apple cider vinegar. And that's about it, and we're just gonna whisk it, if I can find my whisk. Now that it's nice and creamy and pourable, we're just gonna taste it to make sure it tastes good. And it tastes perfect, so I'm just gonna dress the salad. I did some work this afternoon. I treated myself to a glass of wine at a bar. Uh, I didn't show you that because you know what a glass of wine looks like. But now it's almost dinner time, so let's head into the kitchen to show you an easy, quick dinner. For dinner, we're gonna be having some really easy tacos. I love Mexican food, but I don't really love to stand by the stove and make refried beans from scratch or do lots of other time-intensive things when I'm feeling lazy. So this is a really easy five-minute taco recipe. And black beans, I've just rinsed and drained these. Of course, if you use beans that you've cooked that are you know, dry to begin with, um, that's great, but to save time, I'm using canned beans. Then I'm also going to add some canned corn that I've also rinsed and drained. Very ripe avocado, as you can see, it's perfectly ripe. That's gonna make this salad so much more better. That's not a thing, so much better. Then we're gonna add some sliced cherry tomatoes. You can use regular tomatoes as well. Uh, some minced cilantro, and one chopped shallot. And I'm using that instead of onions because I don't love raw onions. They're a little too strong for me. And with the shallot, I can just use one and that's all I need for one person. I don't have to store the rest of the onion in my fridge. Now we're gonna make a dressing for this mixture right here. And it's nothing fancy, there are no measurements. I'm just gonna kind of uh, play it by ear. Or, what is that the phrase? I'm just gonna, mm. huh. All right. So I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil. This is maybe two teaspoons, maybe a tablespoon. Then I'm gonna add some fresh lime juice for the acid for the salad. Then I'm going to add some red chili flakes because I want some spice. Um, if I was cooking more, I would add some diced jalapenos or serrano peppers, a little bit of ground cumin. Uh, if you don't like cumin, you can leave it out. I know some people say it tastes like feet. Um, that's unfortunate, I think it's delicious. Then some freshly cracked pepper and salt. And I'm gonna kind of mash up the avocado so it's kind of like a guacamole almost, but, but not. This guacamole doesn't have black beans or corn. To go with our tacos, we're gonna have a really easy vegan sour cream. This is a store-bought Greek-style vegan yogurt. It's from the brand Kite Hill. It's made with almond milk. And if you can't find Greek style yogurt, you can use any plant-based yogurt. It just won't be as thick. Um, so to this, I'm gonna add a little bit of apple cider vinegar and some lime juice. You could also use a store-bought vegan sour cream um, or you can make one at home from scratch. Um, I have a recipe for a cashew sour cream. If you're interested in that, let me know in the comments below and I will put up a recipe for that. Then we have our tortillas right here. These are corn tortillas. They're made with just white corn, water, and lime, so they're gluten-free as well. Since this is a no-cook video, of course, you can just put your filling onto your tortillas like this. You can also microwave your tortillas so they're warmed up, or you can char the tortillas for about 10 seconds on the stove over an open flame. I know this involves some cooking, so it's totally optional. So 
So after I finished those delicious tacos for dinner, I finished my evening by snuggling up on the couch with my best friend, Netflix, and I had some dark chocolate and dates for dessert.